All right, what's up, guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. We got Andy over here. Hey, everybody. We are uh, getting ready to film a video, and we had to go to Harbor Freight to pick up some sawhorses. I thought I had some, but I don't know where those went. But I, uh, I accidentally caved in. Harbor Freight got a bunch more of the Icon tools in, so I went and bought everything they had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a fail. That was kind of expensive, but we got a whole bunch here. This these, is... Uh, these ones here were kind of my fault. Yeah, these aren't new. I just don't... Oh, jeez, I'm spilling everything. Uh, these aren't new, but I haven't had them, so I went ahead and got those. So we got a bunch of other stuff here, so we're going to go ahead and get this open. All right, so we got all this opened up. We got some impacts. These are all 3H drive. We got standard, metric, in short, as well as deep. Then we got some uh, crow's feet here in standard and metric. Got some uh, Torx bits over here. And then some uh, Torx sockets. We got these are uh, three eighths and then these are quarter. We also got this massive uh, three quarter drive breaker bar. This thing is sweet. What do you think of this? This is, you, you, <laughs> you're, if this slips, you're going to be hurting yourself. That's for sure. It's definitely pretty heavy. Yeah. I'm excited about that. That definitely, that hopefully they'll come out with three quarter <laughs> drive. I'm guessing they will now that they have the breaker bar. So that'll be cool to get in the future if they have that. And then got the snap ring pliers. Like I said, they've had these out for quite a while. I just haven't got them until now. So I do a lot of stuff with uh, snap rings, whether it's doing stuff on diffs or whatnot. So that'll be nice to try those out and see how they work. Um, I've used a lot of different ones in the past and they don't really hold up that well. The uh, points here tend to round off or bend and you know, there's definitely some yeah, crappy ones I, out there. I have so. that set and have used it, and it's it's a pretty good set. I like it quite a bit. Holds up pretty good. Holds up real good. They feel nice. Yeah, they're, I, mean, I like them. We'll see. I don't I know if I've used several of the sizes and stuff. <clears throat> I've done a had a couple of friends that had their four wheeler, their side by sides, and four wheeler over in my shop. We we're doing transmission work, and there's lots of snap rings in those Polaris transmissions. And yeah, we use several of the sizes, and they work really well. Yeah. It'll be nice to use those. Nice little uh, case they have, too. So These will be interesting to see how well these hold up. I see a lot of people break these. If you're, you know, putting too much pressure on them, you can snap them pretty easy. I know I've broken a couple in the past, so very interested to see how those hold up, especially with, uh, like, the bolts for seatbelts. Hold the seatbelts down. You can break those pretty easy with those because they're usually Loctited in, so they're pretty hard to get out. So The crow's feet, they look pretty good. We'll see. These can definitely be lifesavers in those tight areas, Absolutely. you know, trying to get to. So those will be nice there. And then uh, these are actually the first, you know, impact sets that I've bought. And I've ha I have some others that I are kind of hand me down. So these are the first ones I've bought in specifically for impacts. I usually just use the chrome sockets because honestly they hold up fine. I don't ever have any issues with using the impacts, but. I know you can have problems with the sockets staying on using the chrome ones versus the impact, so I'll have to give these a try and see how they work. I mean, they seem pretty good. What do you think, Andy? Oh, yeah. They look all right. They smell fresh. <laughs> they got that, yeah, that oil on them that keeps them from rusting. Yeah, it's cool that they, uh, they're they coming out with them. These are all 3H drives, so I'm going to guess that they're going to have some half-inch coming here soon. And possibly three quarter. I doubt it. They'll probably just have the half inch. I don't really see those too much in the three quarter until you get into the industrial side, you know, working yeah. on heavy equipment. But it's nice stuff. Excited to use all this. And, uh, it's a good set. It goes clear up to one inch and down to three eighths. That's a pretty good, good span. Yeah, and I don't think they skip any sizes either, do they? Doesn't look like they're skipping sizes. Nope. 10 to 19 on the metric and every size in between. Yeah, that's nice. These would be nice to see I, these I like in that. I've short. noticed that about all the Icon stuff is they, they don't skip sizes at all, which is really good. Really nice. Yeah, it's nice. And I've been using the crap out of my wrenches over here. Um, still, I don't know if I'm too big of a fan on having the longer end wrenches versus the uh, shorter ones that most companies have. But, I don't know, they seem to be working good. I've been using the crap out of the stubbies. Those are lifesavers. I just used those on the Tacoma to get to that one <laughs> bolt that I couldn't get to. It's kind of a pain in the ass with the hidden winch. It's really tucked up in there. So, yeah, that's the haul from uh, Harbor Freight this time. That was kind of a costly endeavor. <laughs> yeah. when I went for, only went there for uh, some uh, sawhorses, and I ended up getting a bunch of tools. So, definitely excited to try out these uh, snap ring pliers. 
I, uh, I'm interested to see if they hold up good. I mean, some of the ones I've used are just complete shit. They're garbage, so it'll be cool to see how well those do. And I'm really excited to see if they come out with some three-quarter stuff. I have the three-quarter drive, I think, Pittsburgh brand socket set from there. And it works good. Usually when I'm doing bigger stuff, I'm not doing it all the time. I don't need a big, fancy, expensive kit. You know, I can just use the cheaper one and it gets the job done. But it'll be neat to see what they look like when they come out with some. Also, I'm re they really need to come out with some extensions and some swivels. Yeah. Like, yeah. come on here, you're getting a lot of sockets and uh, ratchets and not coming out with them. Oh, I did on my uh, ratchet over here. I think it this one with the flex head has a recall. I did finally have a problem with it jamming up and not uh, switching. So I need to go get that recall. I think that's the one. Hopefully they can address that issue because that was kind of annoying. But other than that, I really like those ratchets. They uh, work really good, especially in tight places, having the, I think it's a 120 tooth drive on it. So that works really good. But yep, that's what we got. Now we just wait and see what else they have that they come out with in the next few months and maybe pick those up. I know they have some screwdrivers coming that I seen at the SEMA show. So those should be coming out soon. And Cool to see those come out, yeah. I'm going to guess they're going to have some kind of uh, extensions coming and swivels, stuff like that. they got to have more. I mean, they're slowly releasing it, so yeah, oh, yeah. we'll see. But that's probably going to be it for this one. Drop a comment down below what your uh, favorite tool out of the whole bunch is or what you'd like to see them make. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.